What's good everybody, it's your boy Dookie again, back with another quick review, and I do mean quick. This time, we got the Hex TL Bluetooth speaker from 808 Audio. Boom, like an 808. Baby, now why do I say quick? This bad boy's gotta go back. Bluetooth speakers are everywhere. With more people playing and streaming music right from their phones, this has become the go-to way of getting better sound for your audio. Now I'll admit right from the start that my needs with this particular speaker may be different than the average user. I would say take my words with a grain of salt, but don't count them out. I shoot a lot of music videos and instead of carrying around a massive set of speakers, it's easier to have a nice Bluetooth unit. If it doesn't get loud enough, well the clients can't hear the music and that causes all types of problems for me on the edit. I had my eyes on the G Project G Boom for a while based off of reviews. Sadly, they were out, but for 20 bucks less, I figured I'd give the Hex TL a try. It felt like a major win. Later on though, even in my quiet house, I couldn't get it to shake the walls as I thought it would. It was loud, but not really loud enough. Wow, gentlemen, yeah. And Dick this fine production. I think you need to recognize him. The Hex TL sports a dual speaker system with what they call a bass resonator that does provide a little bump, but nothing earth shattering for the bass lovers out there. The build quality and overall design will make it a speaker that on looks alone will make you want to put it on the shelf and show it off. Yo man, I had to break that up, cause honestly, it did its job, but the Hex TL from 808 Audio, man it had to go back, it wasn't what we needed. So I did my Googles, I searched the interwebs, and I found out the G Project G Boom was available, one left, in the city, skidded over there and picked it up, and I gotta say it's been a major win. Shout out to the homie Flossie Carter, it's definitely a major win, it's definitely something that you can use to rock out your backyard boogie now like i said my uses are going to be totally different i plan to use this for when we shoot music videos and we might just happen to be in locations where we're out on the side of the road uh under an underpass or downtown in the middle of a busy street festival and we need something that's going to give a little bit more than your standard room filling bluetooth speaker and that's what this the G Project G Boom does. Busting out of my shirt when busting out of a burst. Opponents wake up in six days, wonder how they were hurt. Like, wow. Now, I'm sure there are some speakers that are better. I know some of the beats stuff is real crazy. I know Bose got a couple ones that are live, but from my understanding, those cost 300, 200, and better. This right here was $99. 99. And it gives me all the boom that I need, you know? It's real crazy. Plus it's got some other features too. You know, if you turn it around here on the back, I thought it was charged by USB, it's actually not. It's got a standard DC port plug in for the power, but once you do plug it in, you could go ahead and use this USB port to charge your phone. And this, you know, you rocking the party out, you know what I'm saying? You grooving to the oldies, old school, backyard music. You plug up your phone, man, people can get their charge on. Plus, you can hit him with the aux cord. If you know you got the uncle who swear he got the grooves, but he ain't got no Bluetooth on his phone, that aux cord boogie is just for him. You know what I'm saying? We're going to test this out to see if this is really the best bang for your budget boom. Now, I got to get back to this video I'm editing here. Shout out to the homies MDK. They dropped a massive Project Foresight. You mess with hip hop, make sure to check them out, man. That's Minds of a Different Kind, Foresight. I'm going to leave the link below. Ask for the link of everything that I spoke about here. And make sure you check us out on the next Bang Reviews. Holla at your folks. Let me get back into this, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, let me get back into 